I think the, the element that I'm looking for is something, uh, it's, it's difficult to articulate of course, but it's, it's something to do with time. So uh, there needs to be um, an aspect of the painting that is, that is unsolvable, so that if you, if you feel like you're reaching a solution on, on you know, decoding or understanding the work, there's something that'll elude and you know, hopefully open up a new, a new avenue for inquiry. But uh, you know, perhaps, perhaps we'll just leave some sense of uh, a lack of finality, so that the painting, the painting can have um, an ongoing dialogue with, with the person who's looking at it. So you, it's not just that you look at it, uh, you think about it for a minute, and then you go, the painting's about that. Move on. You want to say you look at it, the painting is about that, or is it? Maybe it's about something else, and you know you come back to it, and there's some other thing that, that you know potentially can come out of it. You know, there's a pattern, but then maybe the pattern breaks down. Ambiguity is certainly is certainly a part of it, but it's also, you know, having things that are, you know, maybe paradoxical or, you know, even even perhaps deliberately arcane or, or obscure, you know, in in the work. So I mean, I mean, I'm a big fan of cryptic crosswords, for example. In a way, some of you know the favourite clues are the ones where, you know, an answer suggests itself, but then it becomes like a little a little piece of poetry. The non-human animals that are that are in the paintings, in some ways, they're a stand-in for for humans as well. So there's this there's this idea that we can we can relate to any kind of conscious conscious entity. So that so the animals are in there as a as a conscious entity, an agent that exists that exists in the world that we can we can empathize with or relate to. And the challenge is to try and do that in a way that is not uh, anthropomorphic or anthropocentric. So to see the non-human animal on its own, on its own terms, existing in its own in its own world with its own worldview, its own agenda. The humans, when they enter the paintings, you know, the clean suit, it's, it's both a signifier for a particular type of work, so you know, an engineer or a scientist or someone with, you know, with, that, with that technological um, approach. But the clean suit itself is, is the barrier, so it's a barrier between the human and the outside world. It protects the human from the world that they're in, protects the world from the human as, as well, so there's that, that idea of contamination. Things like that, it's, it's that um, you know, it, it draws attention, I think, to the opposite. So the fact that barriers are never are never perfect, you know, there's always there's always some element of permeability. So, you know, you're going to the world wearing the clean suit and the mask and the gloves, um, but you can never be totally sealed off from it. <laughs>